Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are driving into Montego Bay. And as you know, Montego Bay is the tourist capital of Jamaica. It's also the second city. And so because it's a second city, transportation between Kingston, which is the capital and the larger city in Jamaica. So transportation between Kingston and Montego Bay is very important. And Montego Bay is the major city in the western side of Jamaica. And the transport, the government is trying to set up a domestic airline service in Jamaica. Now, Jamaica had a domestic airline service before, that meaning regular flights between Kingston and Montego Bay, like scheduled flights, two times a day. But it stopped a couple years ago. But the government now sees that and other stakeholders, they are trying to get the domestic airline service up and running again. Because even with the building of highways between Kingston and Montego Bay, the travel time is getting longer and longer because there is so much development going on in Jamaica that the roads are being overused. And now this road that we're on is a northern coastal highway. We are in Montego Bay where this is where the section they call the Elegant Corridor. And you're going to see so many hotels. So many, you, we just passed the Montego Bay Conference Center on the left, the largest conference center in Jamaica. So what's happening is this road was built in 2006. And since then, there's been so much expansion in Jamaica. So I guess you could say so much progress that this road has become congested. The Northern Coastal Highway, it cannot comfortably accommodate all the cars that use it every day. Now, this section of the road is two lanes, but this is the only section that's, I should say four lanes, two on each side. So you have traffic delays, especially in Ocho Rios by Mami Bay, Draxall, Priory. And they have plans to expand the highway because it just cannot accommodate the traffic. But until that's done, and it's going to take years, even with China Harbor Engineering Company doing the work, it's going to take years. So the government is looking into setting back up the domestic airline service. So you can fly from Kingston to Montego Bay. And also Jamaica has aerodromes. We have three international airports. The one in Kingston, Norman Mann International Airport, the one in Montego Bay, the Sangster International Airport, and one in Ocho Rios, the Ian Fleming International Airport. And then we have aerodromes in Kingston, Tinson Pen, we have one in Negril, and we have one in Portland. There was some talk of building one in by Holland, Bamboo, in St. Elizabeth, but not sure what's going on with that. So they are trying to get the domestic airline service back up and running because when it takes to drive from Kingston to Montego Bay is just too long now because the road is just being overused. They have plans to build new highways, but they're just not there yet. So the government is looking into setting back up the domestic airline service. Now, when the service ended, there was there were three main issues. One government regulation, but the government says they are working on that to get that sorted out. Two, the company that ran the service leased airplanes and the company they leased them from was bought out and everything changed. And three, there wasn't really as much use for the local, for the airline service now back then as there is now. Because these areas are expanding, especially the North Coast. So a lot more people will use it now. So I think it's something that is very good and it's needed. I mean, I'm very surprised that a country that's as developed as Jamaica and I mean, with the five million people, 
tourists visiting Jamaica a year. And for those tourists to move around Jamaica, they have to go via road. It's kind of surprising. And with all the hotels going up and all the, the economies doing so well, it's very surprising that we don't have a domestic airline in Jamaica. We don't even have a railway service for passengers to move around the country. But that's something that they're working on, but it's going to take time and a lot of money. But for the airline now, the government sorts out the regulation. I think that that will work because the aerodromes are there already and quite frankly, they're not being used. I'm not sure. I know Tinsipen is a, that's the one in Kingston, is a training school. And one or small planes use it, but nothing like well, back in the day when you were able to travel from Kingston to Montego Bay. So this is very good. Very good. And even the Ian Fleming International Airport, it was the Boscobel Aerodrome. It has no traffic because the runway is too small to accommodate a 747. It can accommodate the smaller planes that carry 78 people. So it's really not being used. They want to upgrade the Negril Aerodrome to the Negril International Airport. But unless they expand the runway, it's not going to have a meaningful impact. So it's good if you could get these aerodromes being used for a domestic airline service. Very good. Jamaica is... The roads are expanding Jamaica, the highways, no doubt about it. Areas like Draxall are booming now because of the roads. But... The roads cannot accommodate the traffic on it. It's just too much activity, too much expansion. And that's good. And the government recognizes this and they're going to expand the highway. This, the Northern Coastal Highway from two lanes to four lanes. So they can accommodate between 30 and 50,000 cars a day. That's the kind of traffic that uses the road. So there is commerce, there is activity going on between Kingston and Montego Bay. But it's going to take time to expand the road. So the government is looking into the domestic airline service. So we'll keep you guys updated as to the progress that's being made. As this is definitely a step in the right direction. And also, we'll keep you updated on the train service because that's also a step in the right direction. All right, guys. Thanks for taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.